Well, I never thought I'd be asking Natalie at quarter to one in the morning. <laughs> How's the weather? I know. And right now, it's actually comfortable outside, yeah. if you can believe that, okay. this late at night. Yeah. 83 degrees out there, so we'll take it. Take it. But it was toasty this afternoon. Anybody who went out to the game, maybe tailgate a little bit, you just felt how much moisture in the air. And that's going to be the case as we go through the day tomorrow as well. Right now, though, live look downtown at a 360 tower camera. That's the UT Tower there in the distance. We have clear skies for the time being. But when you wake up early tomorrow morning, expect mostly cloudy conditions. We'll drop down into the only the upper 70s, a warm start to your Sunday. By noon, 87 degrees, and we have a small chance for a shower or two through the afternoon hours. But look at our temperature, 94 is expected. And tomorrow, we hit 95 today. Right now, clear skies in 81 at Camp Mabry, 78 degrees out of ABIA. Just check out our dew points, though, 72 and 73 degrees. That is a lot of moisture in the air, and you feel it the minute you step outside. And so we're going to continue to see those dew points through tomorrow as we still have winds mainly out of the south. Right now, they're very calm, but that southerly flow will continue through the morning hours hours becoming easterly by tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures falling into the upper 70s in the western hill country, including San Saba, Mason, Fredericksburg. Still in the 80s, though, as you head east in our eastern counties, 81 in Giddings, 80 degrees in Bastrop. Across the state, temperatures range from the upper 60s near Lubbock. Wouldn't that be nice? But most areas still mid-70s near Abilene, San Angelo, 80s as you head east to 82 and College Station, 81 degrees in San Antonio. Now, satellite radar showed we had some showers and thunderstorms that popped up in the peak heating hours of the day today. We had a weak front that's working its way through North Texas. That's where those storms developed. Of course, now without any sort of heating, we have seen them dissipate, just some cloud cover left behind. But as this front sags south and kind of washes out as it moves into central Texas, it'll provide just enough of a boundary, maybe for a few showers and storms as we go through the afternoon hours, the peak heating hours of the day tomorrow. So let's go hour by hour through your forecast. Tonight, of course, looking at mostly cloudy skies by early on your Sunday morning. By noon, we could start to see a few of those showers and storms developing. A few more through the 5, 6, 7 o'clock hours, of course, when temperatures are the hottest. But as the sun goes down, those start to move out and dissipate. We're left with partly to mostly cloudy skies for your evening. And then on Monday morning, starting out with mostly cloudy skies again. Few showers and storms are possible through the afternoon, but a smaller chance than what we're looking at on your Sunday. So temperatures tonight will continue to fall into the mid-70s for the hill country, mid to upper 70s in the metro and eastern counties. For tomorrow, highs, low 90s for the hill country, mid-90s elsewhere. It's going to be another very sticky day, though, with the humidity uh, being a little bit high. The moisture in the air kind of uncomfortable through the afternoon. So mostly cloudy skies tonight, 77 degrees. For tomorrow, a partly to mostly cloudy, 94 your afternoon high. And we have a 30% chance for a shower or storm through the afternoon hours. By Monday, though, that chance drops to 20%. We'll keep a few in there on Tuesday as well. But overall, our temperatures overnight falling into the mid and upper 70s. Afternoon highs will stay in the mid-90s.